Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, for today's videos, I am going to cover the new event called Find the Hidden Relic event which starts from October 5th all the way to October 26th which is roughly around 2 or 3 weeks or so and everybody can do this event because there is no specific requirement so first thing first, you need to find the event NPC which is located in one of the three cities, Capeta, Orsa, or Femidian. Now for Capeta, you can find the event NPC right next to the Priest NPC, Borobos. For Orsa, you can find the event NPC right next to Leticia NPC. And lastly, for Femidian, you can find the event NPC right next to the Ida Virgin NPC, which is quite convenient by the way. For this video guys, I'm gonna start with the event NPC located in Capetta City. The first thing you wanna do is actually interact with the NPC and choose the second option, find the hidden relic. This will give your catcher a buff called Relic Search, which allow you to find two specific items. One of them is the unidentified relic box A and the other one is box S. Next up, what you want to do is actually go outside into the field area. It can be any map, but I personally gonna recommend choosing the map that within your range levels. So my catcher is max level right now, so I'm gonna choose the episode 13 map, Cure Task Force. So once you get there, do not attack any monster and run around until you get a random message telling you that there is a relic nearby. In order to find the relic, you have to spawn a host for the relic. So basically, when you receive the message, you just have to keep running, running, and running. Another thing you need to notice is that your catcher will glow up to 3 times. By the time you get the third glow, you will spawn a host. And by doing so, just interact with the host and you will either get a identified relic box A or the S version. There is a really cool trick that you can use in this event. What you want to do is actually click on the hole and then click cancel it which allow you to claim the boxes right away without having to waste 3 seconds just to dig the hole and claim the identified relic box at the end. One thing I do want to point out is that you cannot claim more than 3 relic per map. So by the time you get to the full relic, it will let you know that you cannot claim any more relic in the area. So the next thing you want to do is actually switch to another map, stop running around and find a hole again and dig for more relic. Also, make sure to avoid taking any damage or using skill while digging for relic because this will prevent your catcher to dig the relic and in this case, you have to kill the monster, you have to waste extra second just to dig a relic. In my own experience, make sure you spawn the holes outside of the monster area field as much as possible so this way, you don't have to waste extra second to kill the monster or any extra second while waiting for the cooldown just to dig the relic. Additionally, you can also use the slash relic command to show how many relics that you have found so far for today. One thing I do want to point out is that you can only get 10 relics a day which share with daily hinted relic that you can find from monster by killing it at a low chance. You also get 30 voucher by staying on life for an hour which is quite convenient by the way. The only way to get the voucher is that you have to kill monster and you can also get the voucher from challenge mode as well so that is another good way just to get 100 voucher a day. Once you find the relic, go back to the towns and interact with the event NPC and choose the second option, identify the relic. Once you do that, you have two options of identifying the Xbox relic or the Xbox relic. Now, this relic are important by the way because you're gonna need it to get the special title, but also allowing you to exchange the relic for the extra voucher, which you can trade in for a special item like the episode 12 equipment upgrade scroll, but also some special item for the event shop. Once you identify the relic, go ahead and check your inventory and then click on the third option to obtain the titles. Now there are 4 different titles, 1 special title and 3 normal titles which include bronze, silver and gold. One thing I do want to point out about a special title is that you need to dig up 150 times just to get a special title. So it's going to take you around roughly 15 days, 10 per day. And then for the other title, you have to claim at least 4 different title relics which include S ring, A ring, B ring and C ring. And in this video, I managed to get the silver jackpot title which is quite convenient by the way. Once you get the titles, it will go into your inventory. Go ahead and right click on it and click on F1, click on the third tab of the catcher and click on the equitable titles. Once you do that, you can equip the special title that you get for the event. Once you obtain the title with a relic and you no longer need any relic in your inventory, go ahead and click the option Relic Exchange Shop. This will pull a bunch of options for you to exchange your relics for additional voucher. These vouchers are required to exchange for the episode 12 upgrade scroll but also the items from the event shop. One thing I do want to point out is that the golden relic will give you more voucher compared to the bronze relic. So basically high quality relic will give you more voucher compared to lower quality relic. 
the rest is pretty straightforward once you have enough voucher you can either get the scroll from the episode 12 shop or you get the items from the event shop either one is fine if you have not upgraded your episode 12 equipment i highly recommend doing so because it's going to help you out so much for the event shop i recommend getting the goddess enhancement card this will save you a lot of time and resources just to upgrade your goddess car. Also, I want to point out that there are a ton of items from the event shop, so make sure you scan it over just to find the item that your catcher really needed. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sanochi, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.